Want to learn how to make this secret witch hat? This is the video for you. Download my secret witch hat pattern in the description of this video. It is a reversible bucket and witch hat, and I'm going to teach you how to make it today. Print your secret witch hat pattern in the desired size and paper type. There are US letter and standard A4 paper options, and I'll be showing you how to put together the medium, which I printed in letter size paper. Before we put it together, check that it printed out correctly by measuring the scale checkbox. If it's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, you're good to go. If not, double check your printer settings and make sure it was printed out at full size. We'll assemble the pattern row by row, starting with the top four. As you can see where the pattern matches up, there is a dotted line that we will use as our guide. Keep the first paper intact, and then we are just going to fold the left sides of the three remaining pages, matching up the patterns and taping as we go. The second row needs to connect to the top row, so we will also be folding the tops of these pages and overlapping them to meet the dotted lines of the first row. Just as we did on the first row, fold the left sides and overlap with the previous paper until all of the pattern pieces are complete. In this case, our first two pattern pieces are complete, so let's assemble the others separately. Now we're just going to cut out our pattern pieces. I wanted to make this as beginner friendly as possible, so there are four straightforward, solid pattern pieces with minimal assembly. Next, we're going to pin and cut out the pattern on our choice of fabric. I'm using a spoon flower velvet since I had a remnant from my bench and pillows. Canvas and denim work great for this project since they hold structure really nicely, but I've also made it with regular cotton too. Just remember that if you're using a thicker fabric like this velvet, you might want to size up because it's double-sided and the thick fabric will take up some of that initial circumference. As marked on the pattern pieces, you'll be cutting two of the brim and one of each other piece. You'll also notice little lines across each pattern. That's where you're going to cut little notches so that you can line everything up super easily and it will make sure that you are not making any mistakes as you go. Now we will pin and sew the hat. We're going to do this in two parts, the witch hat and the bucket hat, which will then be put together as one reversible hat. Divide the pieces so one brim and the witch hat cone are in one section, and the second brim, side, and top of the bucket hat are in another. We'll start with the witch hat portion. Fold the cone over with the right sides of the fabric facing in, matching up those notches that you cut. Now we'll stitch right down that side using a 3 8 inch seam allowance as marked on the pattern. And here's a quick tip for a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Set your stitch width on your machine to two, and it will move your needle to the exact right spot so that your fabric edge can line up directly with the foot. Sew the 3 8 inch seam down the side of the cone, and remember to lock your stitches at the beginning and end by sewing backward and forward a few stitches. Snip off the excess tip of the cone at an angle to prevent bulk when turning right side out, and now we'll pin the cone to the brim and stitch those together. I'm using clips instead of pins, but either one will work. With right sides of the fabric facing together, pin the brim to the cone as shown. Remember those notches that we clipped? You're going to match them up from cone to brim, treating the seam as another notch and pin or clip in place. This will help ensure your pieces are matching up as you sew so you don't end up with any weird gaps. Once the clips are in place, you can add extra cuts to the curve for ease as you sew. Just make sure to match up the original notches first so you don't get them confused. Sew the brim and cone together using a 3 8 inch seam. Normally, this is the part where I leave a gap for turning it inside out once the hat is all together, but I forgot to put it in, so I ended up putting it in on the brim later. So that's really up to you. Now the witch hat portion is done, so let's move to the bucket hat. With the right sides of the fabric together, we're going to stitch right down this line to complete the sides of the bucket hat. I do want to mention that ironing your seams open can help a lot with keeping things looking extra nice, but this velvet really doesn't hold a crease at all, so I just did what I could. Now we'll pin the bucket hat top to the sides. The sides slope slightly, so double check that you're pinning the top side and not the bottom. 
Match up the notches and clip or pin in place. I added lots of clips to keep everything super tidy. Sew the two pieces together, making sure the right sides of fabric are together. And then clip notches in the curves to help it lay nicely. Turn it inside out and shape it with your hands. You can also add a top stitch if you desire, but I'm just leaving it as is. Next, we'll stitch the top to the brim, and you're going to do the exact same thing you did for the witch hat portion, which is just match up the notches and pin with the right sides of the fabric together. I just placed the brim right over the upside down bucket hat and pinned in place. Once the notches are lined up and pinned, add some additional cuts to the curve of the brim to make it easier while sewing. Now that everything is secured, you can see exactly what it will look like once that is sewn in place. Sometimes it helps to double check before you sew, so you make sure that you have the right sides together and everything. So now we're just going to sew it in place and hang in because you are almost there. So now all that's left is to put the two sides of the hat together to make it reversible. Basically, what we're going to do is sandwich the two hats together with the right sides inward. I made sure to match up the back seams of each hat and then you're just going to match up the notches of the brims and pin it in place. If you left an open spot on the witch hat portion, you will sew the brim completely shut and then you'll just turn it inside out where you left the opening. But since I forgot, I had to put my opening on the brim so that I have an open spot to turn my hat right side out. It really doesn't matter where you put it, I just usually prefer to put it on the inside. I marked the parts where I wanted to stop the stitches by placing red clips, and I kept them toward the back just in case my stitches get a little sloppy later on. Red means stop, so I will lock my stitches at each of those clips and leave an opening. Now the brim is sewn in place except for the opening, which is where we'll turn the hat right side out. But first, we're going to cut some triangle notches so that the brim will lay nice and flat and won't have that kind of wonky, wavy edge. So get close to the seam, but make sure not to cut it. And press the seam open to make the final stitches extra easy if you can. I really was kicking myself for using a fabric that doesn't hold a press because it does make it a lot easier once you turn it right side out. Turn the hat right side out and shape the brim. Now all you have to do is add a stitch to close the open hole and you can either use a simple hand stitch like a ladder stitch or simply make sure the sides are turned in and stitch it shut with the machine. I kind of chose to do both. I pressed it as nicely as possible before hand stitching it shut and then I added a top stitch all around. But truly, you don't have to do all of that, so don't let this intimidate you. All that matters is that you close up the gap. And now, your secret witch hat is done. Just to show you what it looks like in real time, here is the bucket hat. And then take it off your head, flip it inside out, and there you have your secret witch hat. Don't forget that you can download my pattern at the link below and please make sure you share your creations with me at Keiko Lin on Instagram and TikTok.